Hey everyone, it's Maureen and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Apple silicone case in Starfruit. So I bought this case a week after I got the Fuchsia. I will give you my thoughts about it and find out why Apple chose this color. Find out what is it about. Starfruit, of course, it's a fruit. If you are interested on this video, just keep on watching. I feel like we're summer right now. This is the Apple silicone case in Starfruit. This has been released alongside Fuchsia, Ultramarine, Lake Green, Stone Gray, Plum, Denim, and the Classic Black. The nice thing about this case because the MagSafe is hidden, I'm not showing the MagSafe like other cases out there. Made with 55 percent recycled silicone material. I found out that silicone cases is not really good for the environment. Here you go. This is the answer to the question. Like the fuchsia, the case is silky. Soft touch finish on the exterior that feels great to the hands. Uh, and on the inside, there is a microfiber lining for even more protection. Again, like I said in the fuchsia, there is a ring right there. Yeah, I think you can see a little bit of the circle there. Really nice case. I love that there is a microfiber lining inside so I'm not worried about my phone laying in there. The build looks really good. This is made awesome. There is a made awesome. <laughs> so there is a covering in the bottom. Darkened star fruit oh there is the ring right there since this iphone added with a camera button this case seamlessly works with a camera control it features a sapphire crystal coupled to a conductive layer to communicate finger movements to the camera control like there is a part that you have to slightly slightly press it so that you could get all the different styles that you want I'll show you here in a second there you go there you can see that you'll hear a click if you take a picture i kind of made it kind of darker right so it can make it bright it will take time for me to learn uh pressing that button we will figure it out it has built-in magnets that align perfectly with iphone 16 pro max this case offers a magical attach experience and faster wireless charging every time. When it's time to charge, just leave the case on your iPhone and snap to your MagSafe charger or set it on your Qi 2 or Qi certified charger. I have my Sonic stand and my charger here. We don't have a cord here to charge it, but I just want to show you the MagSafe. I love it! With the desert titanium, camera protector right there really matches. Like every Apple design case, it undergoes thousands of hours of testing throughout the design and manufacturing process. So not only it does look great, it's built to protect your iPhone from scratches and drops. There is a small amount of lip right here in the screen area. As you can see right here. It's not too pronounced like the velvet caviar. The lip is almost leveled on the screen, but it's not. I always say this on my case review videos that even if your case is has a lot of protection, it's still nice to have a camera protector and a screen protector to really protect your phone, your expensive iPhone. I have a camera protector right here, but I'm sure if my camera protector is not there, it is higher than the camera. I have my iPhone 15 Pro Max here. It's definitely higher than the camera right in there 
as you can see. Giving you this as an example. Oh my gosh, it seems like it's scratch. Okay, never mind. I could not say anything about the wear and tear, but over the years of using the silicone case, if you drop it, it will chip. And over time, if you're using it, it will definitely chip because it's like a rubbery texture. That's the disadvantage about silicone cases. I love silicone cases, especially Apple silicone case because it's so grippy. There is enough grip to hold it. And I put my pinky right here in the bottom when I'm using it. It kind of like holds it really good. And with his fingers right here and this two, one under there, it actually is not that slippery compared to holding it without a case. I have not used this case a lot like I used the Fuchsia. So far, I have not seen any smudges in it. I'm surprised that Apple did, did not call this as Carambola, if I pronounce that right. Carambola, also known as a, as a star fruit, is a fruit of Aberhoa Carambola, a species of tree native to tropical Southeast Asia. The edible fruit has a distinctive ridges running down its sides, usually five to six. When cut in cross section, it resembles a star, giving it the name of a star fruit. Like it said, it's Southeast Asia, so we have it in the Philippines. As much as I can remember, it is kind of sour. Because sometimes the people at the market sells it when it's still kind of sour. I don't know what it tastes like when it's like ripe and ready to eat. So I think it depends when it's not ripe yet and when it's ripe. Consumed in Southeast Asia, South Asia, the South Pacific, Micronesia, parts of East Asia, the United States, I'm surprised, parts of Latin America and the Caribbean. The tree is cultivated throughout tropical areas of the world. Star fruit can be light green, yellow, or off-white in color. The color of a star fruit depends on its ripeness. Star fruit is dark green when unripe and a ripe star fruit is bright yellow firm. So I think this is where the color is when it's ripe. When I was younger, I ate it when it was green. <laughs> so it's not ripe yet. It's in season in the United States from June through February. So I get it now why Apple chose this peak production in August to September and December to February. However, the harvest time can vary depending on the climate and weather and some areas may produce fruit year round. So star fruit can be harvested from from when grown in the United States. It is typically grown in Florida and Hawaii grows on the carambola tree. The star fruit looks like a star when you cut it. That's why it's called star fruit. Star fruit is a good source of vitamin C, vitamin A, phosphorus, and potassium. This is the sunshine from the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and this is the color star fruit. The sunshine, the sun with the shine, okay? It's like this. It's like yellow. We and this has a little green color in it. So there's a lot of green probably on this one. I just wanna show you guys the difference on that one. Um, there wasn't any history about it, so it's just where it came from, where it grows, and the months. I think that's why Apple chose it for, for fall. Hmm. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and night, and I will see you on my next one. Bye!